Have you ever wondered why we feel pain? It's a sensation we're all too familiar with, yet it's often misunderstood. From stubbing our toe to enduring a headache, pain is a universal experience. But what if I told you that pain, as unpleasant as it may be, plays a crucial role in our survival? Let's take a moment to appreciate the complexity of pain. It's not just a simple response to a harmful stimulus, it's a sophisticated alarm system designed to protect us. It's our body's way of saying, hey, something's not right here, you need to do something about it. Think about it. If you touch a hot stove, you feel a sharp, intense pain. This immediate response causes you to quickly withdraw your hand, preventing further injury. This is pain serving its protective function, alert enough to potential harm and prompting us to take action. But pain isn't just about immediate physical threats. It's a complex interplay of biological, psychological, and social factors. It can be influenced by our emotions, our thoughts, and even our cultural background. Yes, it's that complex. Now let's not forget that pain can also be a symptom of an underlying health condition. It can be a sign that something is wrong in our body, prompt enough to seek medical attention. So, while it's uncomfortable, it's also a vital tool for diagnosis and treatment. In this sense, pain is not always the enemy we perceive it to be. It's a part of our body's defense system, a biological alarm meant to protect us. It's a phenomenon that, despite its unpleasantness, deserves our understanding and respect. So, as we delve into the world of pain, remember this. Pain is more than just a feeling. It's a complex, vital part of our survival. It's a signal from our body, a message that something needs our attention. So, instead of merely seeking to avoid it, let's strive to understand it. Because after all, pain might not always be the enemy we perceive it to be. The journey of a pain signal is nothing short of astonishing. When you accidentally stub your toe or touch a hot pan, what you're feeling isn't immediate. The sensation of pain is actually the end result of a rapid, complex process that starts at the site of injury and ends in your brain. Let's break it down. First, when an injury occurs, specialized nerve endings called nociceptors spring into action. These tiny sentinels are scattered throughout our body, lying in wait for signs of potential harm. Once they detect danger, such as extreme heat, pressure, or chemical irritation, they generate an electrical signal. This signal is the beginning of the pain sensation. This electrical impulse then travels along nerve fibers, racing towards the spinal cord. Think of these fibers as the highway of the nervous system, facilitating rapid communication between the body and the brain. Upon reaching the spinal cord, the signal is relayed to a different set of neurons. These neurons act as a kind of switchboard, directing the incoming information to the correct destination in the brain. Some signals are directed to the thalamus, a region of the brain that acts as a relay station, sending the signal to the areas responsible for physical sensation and emotional response. Meanwhile, other signals are sent to the brain's cortex, where they are processed and interpreted. It's here that the signal finally becomes the sensation we know as pain. This entire process from injury to pain happens in the blink of an eye. It's a testament to the efficiency and complexity of our nervous system, a system designed to protect us from harm and alert us to danger. Yet while the process is incredibly efficient, it's not perfect. Sometimes, the system can misfire, leading to chronic pain conditions where pain signals are sent even when there's no apparent cause. But that's a topic for another time. The complexity of this process highlights the marvel of our nervous system. Not all pain is created equal. This is a truth that becomes apparent when we delve into the diverse world of pain types. It's a misconception to believe that all pain feels the same or stems from the same source. In fact, there are several distinct types of pain that we can experience, each with its own unique characteristics and management strategies. Let's start with acute pain. This is the type of pain that screams at you when you stub your toe or get a paper cut. It's sharp, intense, and relatively short-lived. Acute pain is your body's immediate response to physical harm, acting as a warning system to prevent further injury. It tends to subside once the underlying cause is treated or the body has healed. Next, we have chronic pain. This is a more persistent type of pain that can last for months or even years. It can be continuous, like in cases of arthritis or back pain, or it can be intermittent, flaring up now and again, like migraines. Chronic pain is often linked to long-term health conditions and can significantly impact a person's quality of life. Then we have neuropathic pain, a complex type of pain that's caused by damage or disease affecting the nervous system. 
it can manifest as a burning or shooting sensation and can be triggered by events that wouldn't usually cause pain, like a light touch or a change in temperature. Neuropathic pain can be challenging to manage because it doesn't respond well to standard pain medications. Each of these types of pain have a different origin, duration, and management strategy. Acute pain can often be managed with over-the-counter pain relievers, while chronic pain may require a combination of medications, physical therapy, and sometimes even surgery. Neuropathic pain, on the other hand, often requires specialized treatment approaches, including certain types of medications, nerve blocks, or electrical stimulation. Understanding the type of pain is the first step towards effective management. So the next time you feel pain, remember that it's not just a single sensation, but a complex and diverse phenomenon with many facets to explore and understand. Humans have devised a myriad of ways to combat pain. Our ancestors, in their wisdom, turned to the earth for solutions. Herbal remedies were their first line of defense against pain. Plants like willow bark, which contains the natural precursor to aspirin, played a vital role in ancient pain management. Hypnosis, too, had its roots in the past. The ancient Egyptians, Greeks, and Romans used forms of trance and suggestion to alleviate suffering. It was a mind-over-matter approach that still holds some merit today. As we progressed into the era of scientific medicine, our understanding and management of pain evolved. We discovered analgesics, medications specifically designed to reduce or eliminate pain. These range from over-the-counter options like acetaminophen and ibuprofen to prescription drugs like opioids. However, it's essential to remember that each of these drugs come with their own set of benefits and risks. While they can provide significant relief, they also carry potential side effects and in some cases, the risk of addiction. Beyond medication, we've also developed surgical interventions to combat pain. Techniques like nerve blocks can stop pain signals in their tracks, providing relief for chronic pain sufferers. And then there's physical therapy, a discipline that uses movement and exercise to strengthen the body and alleviate pain over time. In more recent years, we've seen the rise of complementary and alternative therapies for pain management. These include methods like acupuncture, massage, and mindfulness practices. While they may not replace conventional treatments, they can provide additional relief and improve overall quality of life. Looking at the journey of pain management, it's clear that our approach has been anything but static. We've moved from natural remedies to complex pharmaceuticals, from mind over matter techniques to surgical interventions. And as our understanding of pain deepens, so too do our strategies for managing it. Pain, as unwelcome as it may be, is a part of the human experience but it's also a catalyst for innovation. It drives us to seek solutions, to push the boundaries of our understanding, and to develop new ways of alleviating suffering. The evolution of pain management techniques mirrors human innovation. So here's to Bethesda's quest for relief, for it's a testament to our resilience and our enduring spirit. Why do some people seem to tolerate pain better than others? This question invites us into the intriguing world of pain tolerance. It's not a one-size-fits-all kind of situation. In fact, our response to pain is as varied as our human experience. Genetics play a significant role, with some people genetically predisposed to have a higher pain threshold. That means they can endure more pain before reacting to it. Your social environment can also influence how you perceive and respond to pain. Cultural norms, societal expectations, and even your upbringing can all shape your pain tolerance. Life experiences, too, have a significant impact. Experiences with past pain, for example, can either sensitize or desensitize us to future pain. Even our mental health can influence how we perceive pain. In essence, our pain tolerance is a complex interplay of various factors. Our response to pain is as unique as our fingerprints. Could we ever completely eliminate pain? This question sparks a whirlwind of scientific and ethical implications. On the scientific front, while we've come so far in understanding the mechanisms of pain, a world without pain is still beyond our grasp. Pain, as much as we loathe it, is essential to our survival. It's our body's alarm system, warning us when something is amiss. On the ethical side, the idea of eradicating pain raises numerous questions. If we could switch off pain, would we become reckless, ignoring the signals our body sends us? Would we lose empathy, a fundamental human trait often born from shared suffering? And who would have access to a treatment that could remove pain? While these questions remain unanswered, one thing is clear. The quest to understand and manage pain continues to challenge and fascinate us. Pain, 
A universal human experience is more than meets the eye. It's our body's alert system, intricately processed through our nervous system. We've discovered its many types, acute, chronic, and neuropathic, each unique in origin, duration, and management. Pain management has evolved from ancient herbal remedies to modern analgesics and surgeries. We've even delved into why pain tolerance varies among us. Thank you for joining this exploration into the world of pain. Until next time, stay curious.